Scorpios, it's time to do our April craft. So set up your space. You might still have your apron on and your table covered, or you might need to do that again. You need rinse water, your paint brushes, your acrylic paints, your glitter if you wanna use it, jewels. You'll need just some regular Elmer's glue. You need your little flower pot, you have a bag of dirt, and you have some seeds. So we're gonna be planting a little flower in our flower pot after we have painted it. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Once you are set up, if you need to stop the camera to set up, you can stop the camera and come right back. Now I'm going to get my bigger brush. I'm gonna dry it, mine's been sitting in the water. And I'm gonna choose one of my colors for, I'm just gonna do two colors. I'm gonna start here and I'm going to paint the rim of the little pot. It will dry so super fast. And then it's okay too if you get it on the other part because when you're painting this, remember what I said when we were doing the gnome? Acrylic colors will cover other acrylic cover colors. So I like to stick my hand down in the pot so that I don't get all messy and that I can turn it. So I'm gonna stick my hand down inside of there. There we go. And I have that whole entire part done blue. You can choose any color you want. I'm gonna rinse my brush. And I'm gonna dry my brush on my paper towel and get all the water off. Now I'm gonna do my second color, which I think will be purple. Now, I don't always like the way the purple is kind of dark. So I'm gonna do some white on my brush first, and then I'm gonna dip it in the purple and kind of mix it. Ooh, I like that color. So I'm not gonna use my purple, I'm already done with my gnome, and so it's fine if I mix it right in the little container. Ooh, I like that. I might not wanna get white in there, but I don't mind mixing up my purple a little bit. All right, I'm gonna get all of that. Now you can paint the bottom of your pot. You do not have to paint the bottom of your pot, but there, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. So these are called base coats. Now I'm gonna decorate this, but I can decorate it any way I want once I get my colors on. You'll probably notice that that blue is already dry because it goes so fast. For the next part, you can choose whether or not you want to paint the inside of your little pot. I am gonna do the inside. See, my purple is pretty much dry. I'm gonna use the green that I have left over and I am just gonna paint everything. So this so you know, I will sometimes paint the inside of the pot because maybe someday I don't want a flower in it. I want to put my earrings in it or I want to hold crayons in it or something like that. Or I want to put all my little money change in there. So all my dimes and quarters and nickels and pennies, you can fill it with stuff like that. Um, also, I would say this is something that you can keep for yourself, but you got to make sure you water it or it's something that you could give away. You might also have extra paints. So if you have fun with this, I bought these at Hobby Lobby, or you can go and buy bigger pots and make some cute little flower pots for the spring all on your own. So I'm all the way done with my three colors. I have green, blue, and purple. I'm gonna put my big brush in here. I'm gonna rinse my little brush, and now I'm gonna do some decorations. Now there's a couple things I can do. I can get my jewels and I can start by just gluing jewels on. If I glue jewels, it's super important that if your mom or dad or grandparent, whoever your grown up is, if they have a hot glue gun, sometimes a hot glue gun works best, but Elmer's glue is just fine. The one thing is if I were to do them all the way around the rim, I like to leave it upside down while the jewels dry. Otherwise, my jewels are gonna run right off my pot. So I'm not gonna mess with the jewels right now. I actually am gonna do a little bit of glitter. I'm gonna take, while my blue is dry, before I add any details, I'm just gonna squeeze the glitter right on top of there. And you know what? I'm gonna get a little weird. I'm gonna do it with my finger. I think that would work much better. Oh, I like the way that looks. So I'm just making it sparkly and I'm only doing it on the rim and I am using my finger. It's just glitter glue and so it will wash right off your finger. So I have glitter all the way around the outside edge of that. Now I'm drying my finger. Let me see, I'm gonna turn this upside down. I'm also gonna use my finger. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna make some little flowers. And so I'm gonna use my middle finger. I'm gonna stick it in the pink and I am going to do a dot 
this is how I'm gonna do my flowers. I'm gonna do three little flowers of different sizes. So I did a dot, a dot, and a dot. Wipe my finger off and I'm done with that part. I'm gonna get my littler brush out. I think I will make my stems, let me make sure my brush is really dry, not my stems, I can make petals now. So I am just going around doo -doo -doo, the outside of my pink middle. Let me do that real quick. Look, just like that. And that's how I did a little flower. Now you probably know other ways to do flowers. Something that would be fun is once your flower is dry, you could actually glue, you do need glue, but you can put a little jewel in the middle of that and that would be so pretty. If you want a stem, you can do a little stem, just get your brush dry and just do a green line straight down. So I, this is not gonna stay, so it'll probably fall off, but I'm gonna turn this over. Once you have it all painted, you're going to want to make sure that it is dry before you put your dirt in. When you are ready to plant your seeds, you're going to, you can do this outside or you can do it on the covered table. You might need a grown up's help depending on how messy your mom or dad or adult thinks you are going to be. There's something of leaf in mine, so I'm gonna take that leaf out. It's best if your pot is not dry, the dirt is gonna stick to your paint. But I just shake my dirt in. I don't know why I have leaves in there, but that's a second leaf. All right, here we go. All right, I've got my dirt. I wanna fill it really all the way up to the top because it's kind of loose. Once I have my dirt in there, I'm gonna grab my seeds. Mine are in a package, but you'll have a little bag of them that is marked seeds. You don't need very many. I'm gonna actually take either my pencil, let's see, or I'll use my pencil. I'm gonna poke one, I'm using three seeds. So I'm gonna poke three holes in there and I'm gonna drop my seeds down in the holes. I'm gonna take the dirt that is left and I'm gonna sprinkle right on top and then I'm gonna kinda, I don't wanna push it down too hard, but I do wanna pack it just a little bit, tap it down in there. All right, and now all I have to do is put it in the sunshine and then I have to add water to it and then I have to wait for my seeds to grow. It takes some time, so don't be impatient. I would love to see what you did. Remember that you can go on Instagram to my create crate tag me or put at my create crate and you can post pictures of what you did you can also email me at draw paint at my create crate.com i'm going to say that again it's draw paint at my create crate.com send me your pictures and you just might get to be the artist of the month thanks for hanging out and doing art with me through my create crate bye guys